Hi everybody, it is Susan O'Hara from LegsLikeMine.com and I get a question all the time about what do I do if I can't wear wraps, like the ones that are actually made from bandaging, right? I'm not a bandaging fan when I'm trying to get some swelling down in my leg. I have lymphedema in my left leg and lipedema everywhere. <laughs> um, but um, I specifically need to focus some time on reducing swelling in my left leg because things happen, right? There are times whenever you get a flare, it could be from travel, it could be from, um, for me, humidity is a bad one, heavy walking days, like if I'm hiking and stuff like that. Um, just eating sugar triggers me, or a glass of wine for some reason triggers me like a mother. Um, so sometimes you need to, you know, compress in a different way than just using your pumps, your compression, all that stuff. It is important, and I'm gonna have a whole blog, probably many, to do what you can to reduce swelling. And compression is a key part of maintaining a swelling reduction or preventing further swelling, right? Okay, so today I'm gonna be showing you three different kinds of compression wraps that I use. Um, I've already done a full blog post on the Beltwell compression brace, and that's one of the three, but I wanna make a note again that that is not a compression wrap. It's not for decongestive therapy. It's more of support, um, in my opinion anyway, just based on the design, I can tell you it is. So anyway, but it's on this post as well. Um, so I have three different kinds that I use, and I'm going to start here with this one. This is my old school. Um, it's pretty raggedy, but I still keep it because it does the best job for me personally. Um, and this I bought from lymphedemaproducts.com. I'm not sponsored from any of these companies, but I want to show you a little bit about how it's designed. And this will make more sense whenever you see it on my leg. So at the top, there's this little, and I'm going to call it a gusset. So this is your expansion area right here. So that'll fit into, you know, um, different legs. This feels almost like swimming suit material while this is neoprene. This is like scuba diving material. And what it is, it's a layer of rubber with um, like polyester on one side and almost like the soft side of Velcro on the other. It's very soft, feels good against the skin. The way this one is designed though, is you see it's got a zipper in the back and the zipper, I hate to, I'm not gonna take it off, but the zipper is held on with Velcro. And when this one came in the mail from um, the internet, what I did is I took this to my occupational therapist who was trying to convince me to do wraps and I was like, hell no, I'm not doing it, I'm just sorry. And so she said, okay, then you're gonna have to buy some of these decompression um, type things here. And I said, okay, cool. So this came in a package like this and it was big and flat. And this piece of neoprene was, I'm gonna say this much bigger, right? And what she did is she spent a whole one of my sessions measuring my leg at different points. And then she actually marked this up with a pencil that came in the kit and cut it to fit my leg at the time. And then, so it's this is shaped like what my leg looked like before I had my first surgery, right? And um, what's cool about it is that as your leg shrinks, there's a couple of options here. You put it on and you can tighten it with the Velcro straps that go on the front. And then if your leg shrinks significantly and permanently, you can actually remove this Velcro um, zipper remeasure your leg and cut this down to size and that's the idea is that as you shrink it gets smaller and smaller and smaller and so you're continuing to give that compression so i'm just going to show you how this goes on for me this is the easiest one of all of the models to put on because you just slip your leg in it so hopefully i can get this on the camera for you you just pull it up with the here let me turn that down a little bit you just pull it up to about the bottom of your fat pad and then you see that gusset is in the front to hold it all together, which that's the beauty is that you're not like trying to wrangle different pieces and stuff like that together. I usually work my way from the top down, but you pull them across and across. And then what you'd wanna do is make sure that there's not like an area where you didn't get coverage here because that's where swelling is gonna find its evil way out. And then you're gonna have like a weird stripe of pain. <laughs> so anyway, um, so you just do it all the way down cross and cross, almost like straight across. And then the last one, you go like that. Now we did my baseline measurements while ago. And of course the neoprene will add um, some, some uh, you know, distance on here. But my baseline measurement for the worst part of my leg was 23 inches. So right now 
on top of the neoprene, it is right at 23. Let me see if I got that right. Yeah. Right at 23 again, 23 and one eighth or something like that. So um, as the day goes on, if I do a good job of like not swelling up, I should be able to go about halfway through the day and tighten this down again. And then my measurement will be smaller. So um, this is my favorite of all three. And um, I'll show you the link. But again, I purchased this from lymphedemaproducts.com. And I have had it for a couple years. It's obviously, um, it's been washed. It's bally, all that stuff. I should probably buy a new one. It's still got plenty of compression in it though. And um, basically, if there's anything involved in my body at all for clothing or anything I'm going to wear, if it's not machine washable, it doesn't go in my house because I don't need that kind of drama in my life where I'm having to take something to the cleaners. I'm just sorry. I'm busy. So um, anyway, this is, um, again, this is my favorite one. There are certain, several different companies that make this kind of brace here, but I have only seen one that makes the adjustable one. One side note, if you wear this through the TSA, it will trigger a pat down, even if you have TSA pre-check like I do, because that zipper is enough metal to um, trigger it. So what I do if I'm going to wear this as my travel brace is I put it in my bag until I go through the checkpoint, and then I put it on when I'm like putting my shoes and all that stuff or whatever I have to do to get, you know, recombobulated. So heads up on that. Okay, that is it for this one. And then I've got the other two to show you, and I hope you get something out of this video. Please let me know if this is helpful at all, because I will make videos that are meaningful to you all. All right, thanks. Have a great day. Bye.